Hi guys, Everyday Knife Guy here, and today I've got a pretty cool product to show to you. This was sent to me for review. This is a Trevax wallet. Now, I did a test. I asked my two year old daughter, I passed this to her and said, uh, well, she's two and a half now, I guess. I passed this to her and said, uh, What is this? when it came in the mail. And she said, Oh, daddy's new wallet. So, a two and a half year old recognizes that in this day and age, a wallet can look like this and to be fair she has seen my uh, armatus carry uh, kydex minimalist wallets and other uh, money clips and things that I have so she does recognize that a wallet doesn't need to doesn't need to look like this all the time to be a wallet I then passed it to my mother who is uh, let me think she's 60 oh what six, mid 60s I guess um, and she said she didn't know what it was I didn't have the card in here, which actually says wallet on there, you can see. It doesn't have the card in it. I pass it to my mother and she looked at it and she knows the sort of stuff I'm into. She knows that I have this channel and that I review knives and gear and that from time to time people send me stuff to review on the channel. But she looked it over and she couldn't figure out what it was. My father, who's a little bit older, he's late 60s, he'll be 70 next year, um, he didn't know what it was either. So I thought that was pretty interesting. But this is a wallet for those of you who... Uh, who haven't grasped that yet. Uh, to some people, they won't even look at something like this because it is so out there, it's so different from what they consider to be a wallet and conventional. Um, but for me, I think it's pretty cool. And if you've followed my EDC for a while, you'll know that I've been downsizing and downsizing and getting into minimalist uh, kind of wallet carry. And uh, this is a pretty cool product, one that I looked at quite a lot. Um, I read a, was that, no, it was actually a video I watched not that long ago that had sort of top five minimalist wallets to look into, and this was one of them. This is the original model from Travax. They do a few different models. We'll look at those later. And uh, this was rated as one of the top ones. So it was kind of on my list to get anyway. Uh, the good folks at Travax said, uh, do you want us to send you one and try it? And so I said, sure, I'd love to. And pretty impressed. It's very different from anything I've ever owned and used, but I do quite like it. It's very, very sturdy. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty cool product. So. This is uh, as it comes, it comes with this card inside it and this shows you where this, the cards go. This is the flat dark earth model by the way, there's lots of different colours. Um, so you have the front plate here, there's a back plate as well and your cards obviously go in between. You then have this uh, paracord loop system which kind of adjusts the tension on it. Um, and you have this fold over velcro, um, velcro strap here, so basically you just slacken that through there and that increases your capacity. So this wallet, unlike a lot of minimalist wallets, minimalist wallets, excuse me, you can actually increase to quite a large capacity if you want to. Uh, most of them are kind of designed around holding kind of six to eight cards. This one I dare say you could hold quite a lot more. I've had my usual kind of six to eight in it and it holds that comfortably and quite snugly. Um, so yeah, it would, it would kind of sit this way up in your pocket. You have a hole here to attach a lanyard or a hook or some sort of thing if you want. There's another one at this end, depending on how you want to carry it. And that hole actually goes through both plates, so you can pinch that together. You have a bottle opener uh, hook at this end. And there's actually a carrying function as well. You see there's a little slot here, a bag carrying function. There's a little slot here, so it's intended you can put a bag handle in there and a bag handle in here. And then you can see you have one, two, three, four and kind of another rounded section here so you have like a proper hold on there. Um, so you could use that as a carrying handle which is quite comfortable because you have the, the top of this nicely padded velcro strap into your hand. Um, what else to say about it? You can see there's the Travax logo engraved on there and here's a very cool point, made in USA. All Travax products are 100% made in the USA which is a little unusual in this day and age let's be honest with ourselves and uh, pretty cool. And it seems to be a fairly down to earth and um, locally oriented and American oriented company so that's quite cool. Let's see what the card that comes in it says. Travax wallet for life. You're now the owner of a new wallet built to last a lifetime. All Travax products come with a satisfaction guarantee. Any questions or concerns don't hesitate to contact to call or email us. If someone asks about your new wallet please give them this card and share your experience. Travax.com. So that's what comes in it. I'll show you what other packaging comes along with it. Uh, kind of in this uh, little uh, zip block here. See what we have in here. So there was a little bit of kind of duplication in these cards I found, but that's not really any big deal. So this card here just shows you basic functions. Use attachment points to secure wallet to belt loops, backs and gear. Use bottle opener, blah blah blah. 
open velcro and loosen paracord lanyard, insert cards between the metal plates. Now I can't really show you inserting too many cards guys because I don't have that many cards that don't have uh, a compromising amount of personal information on them. That's why I just showed you where this card goes in the slot but I mean I don't have uh, 10 cards that don't have anything that I you know I want to show you guys so sorry about that but you can you get the idea and you can see from the picture there how the card inserts you have again this cutout area here um, store cash receipts behind the velcro strap so you kind of have a money clip style on the back and your cards in the middle if you wish when I used it before I actually just put cards and cash and everything into the middle part because I felt that was a little bit more secure but that's kind of your choice um, so that's the first card that comes with it um, I'll hold this up so you can pause it if you wish, just a message from them. In a small way you've helped to create and sustain the American job, in a small way you've helped to benefit others through our non-profit efforts, in a small way you've helped to grow an American business and devote in its, to its team and devote to you. So quite cool as I said, uh, nothing on the reverse of that one. What do we have here? So this is just showing you again how to function, open the wallet by unfastening the velcro, insert cards and cash, tighten the velcro. So in this demonstration, um, yeah I guess they are putting the the money behind the velcro. I did find it better inside but that's you know it's just up to you. Tighten the velcro strap, use a bottle opener and there you can see the bag carrying function as well. So it is kind of um, a cross between a minimalist and a multi-function kind of um, you know card tool kind of thing. Um, you can change the high roller strap so there is an accessory for this I'll show you that as well it's basically just I think it's a longer strap uh, high roller being if you have lots of cash to stash in it. So yeah, that's what, that's the information that comes with it. Let's put that to the side. Uh, let's have a quick look at the website before we go any further with uh, this particular one that's sent to me and just show you some different options. So here we have the original. And again, I'll hold it there for a second in case you want to so we can get focus, uh, in case you want to um, hold on to it. Uh, Trayx original combines anodized aircraft aluminum and cold rolled steel to create a fully RFID resistant enclosure. So if you're into RFID wallets and products, then that's good for you. Uh, heat resistant elastic, black and metal grommets, and 550 paracord. So you can see here, there's lots of different colors. These are $40 on Trayx site. I'm not sure if they're sold through other outlets, but you can buy them direct from them. They are $40. Some very cool colors. I quite like the sandblasted one actually. Some of these you can see the original um, Jet Black and Sand Blaster are actually a bit cheaper. Uh, and this one, oh, a few of them actually are a bit cheaper. So depends what option you want. So this is the original model. Then let's just have a look and see. So the original, the Summit is, um, this is going to load up on my very slow iPad. Uh, the Summit is the more minimalist one, I think. Yeah. So this is really just a very simple metal frame and then you have a very simple strap around it. Uh, and again, lots of different colors, a little bit cheaper on that one. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long they've been around, but they've certainly got a few products out. And these are kind of the creme de la creme. These are the luxury version. Uh, basically, you know, kind of based on the original that I have, but these are the leather versions. And you can see a little bit pricier, $85, but I mean, that's very, very cool. Lovely leather on these. I really like that one, actually, with the silver and tobacco toned leather. And this one as well with the Canyon Red is pretty cool. Let's see if we can get it to focus on that. So $80 on that one. Very, very cool product. Um, so there's a few different versions. And they've actually just come out with a new one quite recently, I think. Let's have a look at that. The Axis. Uh, the Axis. So it's actually a folding uh, compartment. Let's have a quick look at it. $40 on this one. You can see it's got a hinge in the middle there. And it folds over so everything's kind of contained in the middle. And even more secure, I guess, than the other models. Uh, and I'll look at the accessories and see for the high roller uh, Keaton bundle, high roller extended strap. So for $8 you can get an extra long uh, um, Velcro elasticated strap basically to hold more cash and receipts and all that sort of stuff that you have going on. So they've got a few accessories as well. Um, so quite cool. You can go to Trayvax.com to find all that. And they have lots of facts and uh, yeah, good easy ways to get in touch with them and seem pretty responsive to me and uh, yeah just very cool people and uh, seem to be kind of doing the right thing and making making good products but also backing up with a bit of kind of integrity as well they do I know do a few non-profit uh, ventures and donations if you buy certain wallets they, they donate money to certain causes and fun and funds and foundations so that's always always nice and uh, it seems to be a pretty decent product to me very very solid I mean you don't imagine that even if you sat on it I crank on that as hard as I can. Yeah, you're not going to bend that even if you sound on your 400 pounds, I don't think. Um, very, very solid. So it really comes down to whether you like a wallet that looks like this, 
or whether you prefer one that looks like this. I quite like the minimalist style. I do like the extra functionality. I mean, a bottle opener in my wallet isn't really a big thing, but, it, you know, it doesn't hurt to have an extra one, does it? So that if in the situation where all I have is a Victorinox Classic on me rather than my usual compact or Pioneer, I still have a bottle opener. So if I uh, come into a situation where I need a random beer, there's not a problem. Um, let's check just one other thing. You might be thinking with uh, the amount of metal involved in this, it is somewhat heavier than a traditional wallet, but we'll, we'll test that out and see. So this is a bog standard, um, is this a Roots one? What is this? No, it's a no-name bog standard bifold leather wallet, completely empty. Um, let's see if we can get an accurate weight in that. It is 1.35 ounces, 38 grams. Let's see what this is. 2.49, so a little over an ounce heavier than a traditional wallet. So really very little difference. Uh, you can see in terms of dimensions, this is smaller that way, pretty similar that way. And if you, know, if you squish down that Velcro, thinner that way. Obviously when you fill it out with cards, this is gonna expand a lot quicker than this, I would say, because that already has capacity built into it. I'm not really showing you that very well. Let me hold it up. Uh, this already has capacity built into it without me slackening the straps any further. I mean, you've got enough room there to fit in like five cards as it is. So, uh, pretty compact little design. Um, how comfortable is it in the pocket? Well, that was one thing I wondered about uh, when I got it, because it is quite angular. It's obviously made of hard materials. It is metal. It has come quite pointy bits. But to be honest, I didn't really notice it that badly. I was, you know, wearing it in my pocket this way up, obviously, so that your cards aren't falling out the, out the, out the top here. Uh, you know, if you had it like down like that, they could potentially fall out, although I did find it was quite snug. So I was wearing it this way up. Um, and, you know, the way it's kind of cut around the bottom here means that it just kind of sits in the bottom of your jeans pocket. You have this paracord wrapped around there anyway. And I didn't really feel that very bulky at all, to be honest, um, or very angular. And I didn't find myself, you know, stabbing myself too much with my hand in my pocket to grab it. So, uh, yeah, overall pretty impressed. That is a Travex Original in Flat Dark Earth. And uh, yeah, do go check them out. Pretty cool wallets if you're into that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back with more videos soon. Have a great day.